I want to share with you today uh, an 8x8 memory book that I've made using the new Graphic 45 Sweet Things papers, which I was a bit dubious about because they are quite cutesy. But now I've got them and I've used them, I absolutely love them. So I'm going to bring you down and show you the new book. So if I turn it around this way, you, you can see it. So I've used some of the paper and done a bit of cutting just to give a bit of dimension to the cover. And I've done my, my usual trick of putting the memories on the side there. That's a cool cat's video. And I've used a tie opening. So on the first page, again, I've got my um, pockets. And this time I've got a belly band. And I've just used the Cool Cat slot dies so that I can put one in and know that it's not going to fall through the bottom there. So this page I took inspiration from Paul Ford and just changed it for my own uh, style. So I've got two of these, I won't open both of them, but you've got your little flap and then that pulls out to put your photographs on. And then it slides back in like that and flaps down and does up. I can't do these as neatly as Paul does, so apologies to Paul for not looking as neat as his. And then on the inside, I've just got a large deep pocket and I could have put something there but um, I haven't done but maybe that's something to think about and then I've used the Cool Cats slot dies, I've used the, the curved slots, used the largest one at the bottom and a smaller one to give me two pockets on that page. And then on this page again I could have put something here all the time thinking about the different things I could have done as I'm going along and I've just done another deep pocket and then here I've used the Cool Cats um, whisker strip dies and what I've done is I've created a succession I'm just trying to open that the wrong way uh, a succession of pages so I've used the Cool Cats paw closures and I've put a photo slot on each page. So they just go up in size. And then here I've just got a double pocket. So I always try and have one new and different page in each book and that was my new and different page in that book. Then I've got my photo wallet. And always, always my tonic twist and pop. Always have to put the tonic twist and pop in there. If I open this one on the front, I've got my um, photo folio, <laughs> uh, which is a cool cat's die. And then if I open it up, I've got a double page, pocket page. This time I have used my circle die when I've used my deep pocket page. Again, another one I always put in, the double slider. Absolutely adore this double slider. We actually made it at a workshop the other day and um, everybody sort of went, I can't make that, can't make that. And then when they have made it, they all went, wow. So that was really good. And again, the Tonic Studios um, waterfall. The double slider die, by the way, is a, a Cool Cats die. And the Cool Cats photo wallet, used again. I love these if I'm making an 8x8 because um, the Graphic 45 journaling cards, the 6x4, fit perfectly in there. And I know they were designed with that in mind. And then I've got another of the folio wallets on there. Another double pocket, this time I've used um, a 6x4 and then two of the 4x3 journaling cards. I've used the 
photo I don't know what what they're called they have a name I know but sort of photo frames um, and what I do is I create a slider um, and then I mark it up and I put the the little decorative panels on there like that and just slide it in and then I've got a double pocket on the back page so I hope you like that album thank you for watching bye bye